What's up guys, I'm Rhett. Welcome back to Lawn Insider. Today we're going to talk about some Father's Day gift ideas for the lawn dad in your life, but before this storm hits us that we have on the horizon back here, see if y'all can see it, right there, I'm going to give y'all a quick glimpse of where the lawn's at right now. All right, so here is the front yard. Put some diagonal stripes down yesterday. Overall, really can't complain. I haven't been able to mow quite as much as I would like to, just because we've been getting so much rain. But honestly, you'll never really hear me complain about rain because in a couple weeks here, we'll be begging for rain, I'm sure. So, you know, we'll take the rain while we can get it. But overall, looking pretty good in the front. Over here on the side yard, I also put down the diagonal stripes. You can see them. It's just not quite as strong as in the front. Um, the thing about stripes is when you have a longer distance to walk and to really make the stripes, they burn in better. And when you're turning more quickly, you're just not going to get as good of stripes as you would if you were on a, a, a longer path. So that's why even over here on the side, my vertical stripes back and forth are really burned in really well and then you can kind of faintly see these diagonal ones over here on the side again just because i haven't been able to mow quite as much as i would normally it's scalped right here on the trim pass which obviously i wish wasn't there but you know besides that overall i think it looks pretty good this guy's looking pretty nasty over there so i'm going to show you the backyard here and then probably retreat to the garage but here we are in the backyard and there's my Australian Shepherd Finn and not too far behind him is the Dachshund Milo he's up there but you can see in the backyard again I went with some diagonal stripes I make sure that I switch up the pattern that I'm mowing uh, sometimes I'll double cut and I'll do two directions yesterday I actually did that so I don't know if you'll be able to see it but I actually did some horizontal stripes and some diagonal stripes. Uh, but right now, the diagonal stripes are really, uh, they're showing a lot better for whatever reason. Probably just the location of the sun. Right here are just pee spots or urine spots from that guy right there. He doesn't like to wander too far from the porch when he goes and uses the restroom. And then there is a little bit, you probably can't tell on camera, but there's a little bit of a white haze over the backyard. And if you remember last week's video where I was talking about seed heads, we do have quite a few seed heads throughout the lawn. It's not really taking over the lawn or anything, but it kind of takes away from the greenness. So let me show you a few of those real quick. All right, so here's a really good example of what I'm talking about when I'm discussing the seed heads and how they give your yard kind of a white haze when you cut into them. So if you look up here at the top of where these are getting cut, like here, 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 you can tell that when I cut into them that it leaves kind of a, a white mark at the top of the blade. And it's really not even like a blade. It's more like the stem, like I mentioned in, in my past videos. But anyway, I've got a few spots of these seed heads that are showing up over the backyard. And overall, the color's still good and everything, but it is leaving in some areas a little bit of a white haze, which naturally I wish wasn't there, but, you know, overall, can't complain. All right, before we start to get poured on, let's head to the garage and go over some gift ideas. Hey, welcome back, y'all. Today, I wanted to make a video that just gives you some gift ideas for the lawn dad or any lawn lover really in your life. I'm gearing it more towards dads because we know we have Father's Day here in a few weeks and I have recently joined that club. So I'll be uh, celebrating my first Father's Day here at the end of the month. And I wanted to collect a series of present ideas that are not only neat or like cool, but they're also pretty practical in most cases. Some of them are just cool and not necessarily so much practical. But you know, without further ado, I'm just gonna kinda head into the list. All right, we're gonna start off the list here with some shameless self-promotion and every good lawn fanatic needs some good lawn merch to wear while they're out there in the lawn doing their thing. And you can find that fashionable 
fun lawn merch at the Lawn Insider merch store. You can go get you a shirt exactly like this one along with several other shirt designs and that will be in the description box below. I'll leave a link for that. Throughout, uh, let's say July 4th, I will leave a promo code for y'all where you can get 20% off on all of your orders. Just put in the promo code SUMMER. That will be all caps, the word SUMMER. So again, make sure you go and check that out. All right, the next gift I did is some wall decor for their garage or shed, workshop, man cave, wherever they might spend most of their time. And these are just some gas and oil signs that I found off of eBay from a guy who actually makes them. The bigger ones you see are 12 inch in diameter and this one I think is maybe 9. These are not just cheap tin signs, they are ceramic coated and they've got some weight to them. They look really good on your wall and really they've kept their color you know, exceptionally because these are probably at this point maybe 6 years old. They haven't been on this wall for 6 years but I got them probably 5 or 6 years ago and the color looks just as good as it did back then so I have only positive things to say about them and I think that especially if the person you're buying them for enjoys gas and oil memorabilia then these are a fantastic option alright so a couple of these are actually featured on videos that I made earlier in the season but I think they qualify as being neat and really practical and useful so I wanted to add them to the list so this is called a quick connect and it's used for garden hose accessories so it really makes connecting things to the end of your garden hose very quick and very simple and the way it works is this side connects straight to the hose you can see the threading there I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there and then this side connects to whatever you're connecting to the hose so in this case I just have a garden hose nozzle spray head so I'm going to connect it to the end of it like this. Okay, once that's screwed in, you just grab this side, which would normally be connected to the hose right here. It's got this collar right here that can slide back, and you're going to slide that back and put it on there, and then apply a little pressure. Okay, and then now it is locked into place, and now you are connected to the hose. So if you go and you turn the water on it's now going to come out of here just like it would if you were normally connected to the garden hose it's just that it's so much simpler now because if you want to go and connect something else you just pull that collar back and then you pull back okay like that and now you can go connect something else to the end of your hose so these are called quick connects they're cool they're pretty cheap and they are a good Father's Day gift idea. All right, so this next item was also featured on a video earlier in the season, but these are just measuring cups that can measure how much water your irrigation puts down in any given period of time. So these are great if you need to know how long you need to run your sprinkler system and you do not want to waste water because if you waste water, you're wasting money. And let's face it, nobody wants to waste money. So you can get these in a pack of 10 off of Amazon. Basically the way they work is you just go stake them in the yard and you try to spread them out as evenly as possible. Then you set a timer for about 15 minutes. You see how far the measuring cup is filled up. And then you determine based off that 15 minute segment that you just measured, how long you need to run your sprinklers overall and normally remember you usually want to put down about one inch of rain a week in your lawn so these are a great tool to make sure that you are not wasting water and in turn wasting money so again another pretty neat practical and cheap Father's Day gift idea all right so the next thing on the list is a luggage scale and why might you need a luggage scale, you ask? Why would a lawn dad need something like that? And I use mine to measure fertilizer. So I have a bucket and I put the fertilizer in the bucket, attach the luggage scale to the handle of the bucket, and I just measure exactly how much of whatever I'm putting down on the lawn actually weighs because I don't want to risk burning the lawn. Usually with most products, you know, you're going to be okay, but there's also some products that you risk hurting your lawn if you put down too much of it 
and that is where a luggage scale really comes in handy also it lets you be really precise and just like with the water on my last item this little luggage scale will help me make sure that i'm not wasting any fertilizer and again in turn wasting money so luggage scale another great father's day gift idea especially if he doesn't already have one or you don't have one laying around the house and they will allow you to be a lot more precise when you are out making applications so if you want to see how it works i'm not going to attach it to anything but basically it measures the pressure that is put onto the strap so you're going to strap whatever you want to weigh into the luggage scale itself like this okay and then as i pull you can see that like right now for instance i'm applying 5.1 pounds of pressure and uh, if you just saw the light on the screen flash it's because we are currently experiencing a thunderstorm and you probably heard the thunder as well so it'd probably be smart for me to move further inside the garage here but next on the list luggage scale all right next item on the list is a gram scale this particular gram scale can measure all the way up to 100 grams which actually isn't that much but for the things that i measure it's plenty so the reason i have this is for liquid applications for instance prodiamine and the celsius um, herbicide and the sedgehammer also a weed killer that i use they require me to be very precise with the amount of product that i'm using and again this allows me to be more efficient with my product and save money in the long run so the way it works is you just put whatever you're measuring in this case i just have the quick connect for demo purposes onto the scale and it gives you a quick reading 70.37 grams right there so anyway that's called a gram scale so those scales might seem like they're a little bit of a stretch but trust me if your husband or dad is a true lawn fanatic then they will really appreciate those gifts because it just makes your life a lot easier because you're not guessing when you're putting out products and one of the biggest barriers to entry when it comes to lawn care is that people don't feel comfortable putting out those products on their lawn especially those liquid products so having those scales allow you to make sure that you are putting out the exact precise right amount of product really puts your mind at ease and it allows you to go attack the lawn a lot easier all right so the next item that i have is the flexible spout as you can see right there and it is just basically a funnel that you can attach to your oil bottles and it just prevents you from spilling so that's really the main reason i like it keeps the uh, concrete the driveways and the garage floors a lot cleaner that way so the way it works is whenever you are not using it you have it tucked away in this little cap right here whoops well there you go say it's got its cap and then whenever you want to use it you just pull the funnel out and then you can pour the oil in so that is a flexible spout pretty cheap but pretty practical pretty cool this is a one size fits most cap right here so you know most oil bottles you have this will fit on and it's just a neat little gadget all right the next item that i wanted to recommend to y'all especially if you work in a darker workspace like your shed or your garage and a regular light bulb's not cutting it these led kind of fan-shaped lights here actually work really well they spread out the light a lot better the light is a lot wider and a lot brighter and i can't really show you right now because i have the garage door open which you know probably isn't great for a light suggestion video here but this has really improved how i can see in my garage at night so anyway yeah these led lights are pretty awesome and i would recommend them and especially if you have some lighting issues and you don't want to have a full like light install in your garage that's a pretty nice easy quick fix okay so the next item on the list is a pump and i actually use this pump primarily for oil changes but earlier in the year i was also having to work on the valve boxes with the sprinkler system and one of them had some water in it and this thing made quick work of that water and got that water right out of there so 
basically on the oil changes it saves me a, a cleanup step so i am able to pump the old oil directly into the pump and it stays in that canister right there and then i just put the new oil in no drip pan no anything like that again it just makes the cleanup and saves the garage saves the driveway stuff like that so these pumps to me are really invaluable because you don't ever really know how much you need a pump until you need a pump and as far as oil changes and stuff like that go they just they're kind of a life changer so these pumps are a great gift idea they are a little bit pricier but i think that whoever you get it for will really appreciate it all right next up on the list are these scissors right here so it might shock you to see scissors on the list but these things are spring loaded and they will cut through anything all right you can use them for gardening you can use them in the kitchen you can use them obviously for paper but these things are they stay sharp they're actually self-sharpening they'll cut through anything when you're not using them you just squeeze and you attach that latch right there so these i believe are rikon scissors and they are just i mean they're really handy i use them especially around the uh, flower bed and the edging and if there's any stragglers in the lawn i know this might shock y'all but sometimes i'll go out there with the scissors and get the stragglers as well if i don't want to get out the the full trimmer so anyway these are rikon scissors really awesome product and i highly suggest them all right and the last item that i would recommend for your lawn dad father's day gift is maybe one of these leaf and lawn shoots and i actually showed you how one of these work in one of my mowing videos so i will leave the card for that so you can check that out i'm not going to give you the demo right now but you can see the finished product here and it's not too complicated so basically these work as a kind of a shell or a skeleton for your flimsy leaf lawn bag that always wants to fall over and it gives you a big wide opening to aim at so the bag isn't you know collapsing in on itself and wanting to tump over all the time so anyway that's a leaf and lawn shoot and again that product is worth its weight in gold right there saves you a lot of headaches all right y'all i think i'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right there i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave me a like if you're enjoying the content and you want to see more make sure you hit that red subscribe button below if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section. Remember, in the link below, you can go to the Lawn Insider merch store, and all the way through July 4th, you can get 20% off on a Lawn Insider shirt if you use the promo code SUMMER in all caps. I'll see y'all again next week. Lawn Insider, out.